what up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zenlick, and Zika Millick, and the Villain, and the Trillick, and we are back on Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time, it was a minute ago last time I played, but what does it matter? We on episode two, Turnabout Sisters. We done got my boy uh, uh, safe and straight, and I, I got you, 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 okay, I got you, I got you. I'm playing a lot of different games right now. I'm playing Umineko, Little Goody Two Shoes. Um, I'm still on Persona 5, and I'm playing this. So I got four games going right now. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. No, nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You've always liked toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Oh, that's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork, sorry. I put it, I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Huh. What well, is the possibility that it might turn out that way, yes? Can you come by my office tonight, say, 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in the pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner, something good. Like, burgers! I could go for a good burger. And I ain't talking about good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit up the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yeah, I'll be waiting, Maya. And that was the last time we ever talked to her. Conversation recorded, September 5th, 927 AM. Don't tell me, don't tell me our, our lawyer, don't tell me our lawyer teacher actually died, bro. September 5th, 8, 57 p.m., Faye and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine, the papers. Mia, uh, sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you're a poor liar. Why, well, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, you're not coniferous in my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I I should have been more careful. My dear Miss Faye, I'm very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Who is that goofball looking guy? So she really did die. Red, white, blue, what? Dang, so the detective teacher girl really did die. That's a shame, I liked her. September 5th, 9.08 p.m., Fan Co. Law Offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. Oh, that's strange, guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Hold on, examine. I smell blood and I can't be good. I have to check to see if Mia's okay. Oh wait, do I move? Move. That smell, blood. Sis. Someone's there. Chief? Chief! Chief! Dang. Who are you? Oh, she died, okay. Double kill. A strange girl dropped out cold. I left the line on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. 
Then all too quickly it began to fade, until finally she was cold. Chief. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck in the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Hmm. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Piece of the glass. Piece of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Nothing else seems to be a clue here. Huh? A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? The word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia wrote this? Right? This piece of paper is a receipt from the department store dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. And find out what that girl was doing here. Are you sure that's enough snooping around? I personally think there's more to look at. Ironic became the murder weapon again. Pain to look, but I have to for Mia's sake. Hit by a blunt object, died instantly. Hold on. Alright. Chief's chair. Simple functional design. For pretty good to sit in. What does that have to do with the case? Lock in. Lock in, Phoenix, right? Right! I better call the police! Wait, no! That's funny! A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please, come quick! What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. She's another good with machines. That girl chose now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. I hope she didn't run on me. Yikes! Don't scare me like that. Did I start recording? Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis, sis. So she was already dead. So you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night. Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it, it was that clock. It was the thinker. Take that! Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Th th that's, that's my name! Wh why, why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why, why would sis write my name? Oh, now I've done it. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! His name is Gumshoe! Yeah! Yeah! That is goober name, bruh. Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. Gumshoe, what an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. The word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that's... That's my name. What?! The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? 
With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. You look stupid. You, you don't do a good job, do you? We need Makoto in here. We need Makoto and Hajime Hinata in here. They go, they gonna do a good job. You look like you don't got a clue what's going on. You look gullible. Look! He's already trying to close the case! Do your job, detective! We need Kyoko in here, bruh. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct now. What? It is burning in here. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy and I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m., detention center visitor's room. Wow, they got poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Are you gonna be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's up to you. I'd better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes. I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never gonna believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? Probably. No, no, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? Quite the scene. Honestly, I was on the edge the whole time. It's been a while. So he crashed and burned. He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's what she said. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. Sit by and watch. What time it is? 2.20. When I think about the person who did this to my Mia. I know. All right, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Examine. 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 Okay, we got it. We got it. Smile for the camera. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? Pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes, let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to an, a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence. Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in the, in the case? Um, right, she said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes, I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. So you're an acolyte, or a medium in training. That's right. The Faith family, especially the women, have always been sensitive to the spirit world. You said the Faith family. So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. No idea, what the heck? Wait. So you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? We could just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry, I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Thought that would be too easy. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. 
Oh, I, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note, so don't forget it, okay? Okay. Um, something on the matter? I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? I don't know, what do I do here? I'm supposed to represent her, right? Do I refuse? I'm sorry. I think this is the kind of thing you should really do yourself. You're right. Something wrong? Actually, I asked the police to contact him and they tried calling a few times. Nobody could get a hold of him. They couldn't find him. I have no one left to ask. Say, what about your parents? Okay, don't worry. I'll go ask him for you. You will? Thank you so much. I'm just worried what will happen if I can't find him. They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. Visiting hours are almost up. I'll be back. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've gotten, I got, I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. Hold on to an important piece of evidence, thinker clock. When did you arrive at the office? Right around 9, 8, 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear from now. Take that! Ask you about the murder weapon. Poor sis. Ask about that now. Lying next to her body, I saw that too. They said they thought it was a broken light stand. Seems about right. Though I've never heard of a glass light stand before this. I don't think that's going to be important at all. Remember that receipt? You mean the one with my name on it? Any idea why she... Absolutely none. Do you trust me? I trust you. Don't worry. I got you. I trust you. I mean, I already saw who can I already saw who did it. I got I got precognition. Is that what it's called? I got pre precogn what? that thing Psyche K has. I trust you. Why? Don't you think I did it too? No, I don't. Just a hunch, but that detective thinks I did it. That detective is stupid. <laughs> the detective The detective is stupid! I'm gonna go back here right quick. Filled with official papers. They're busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Uh, sorry. Do I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Uh, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Uh, right. And you were... Detective Gumtree, Detective Suede Shoes, Detective Dick Gumshoe. That's your name. Uh, Gumshoe, wasn't it Dick Gumshoe? Right. At your service. Hang on! That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. That was the first thing I said. Anyway, get the name right. Don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Be right there! Uh, ahem. You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Oh, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Alright, let's look around. Favorite potted plant? I remember this had a bizarre name no one can remember. Corded line stricker, pal! What's that? Sky is blue and so am I. There's a hotel right across the way. Okay. Mia's desk, perfectly clean as always. Only thing missing is Mia. Old movie poster. The first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I have to check it out one of these days. 
horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all of these. I'm Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Huh? You wanna know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right, you can see the report, but that's all. Good. About Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal. This is the one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? City put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. So you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Boy, you do know him, right? Uh, I don't know him. Never heard of him. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer? About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. The cold, heartless machine who'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Warner, do you know anything about this? Statue? That's the murder weapon. He thinks the clock is just a statue too? I'm starting to wish I'd never seen this thing. Broken glass at the climb scene. Oh, that? Seems like the glass stand next to the victim fell over. The glass shards were pieces of the broken stand. Alright. Paper. Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. Okay. Wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that. I have that. You think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal! Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. He's kind of stupid, so I'm gonna try and trick him a bit. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Something to matter? Oh no, uh, that carrying strap on the cell phone. This? It says Steel Samurai Warrior Neo Old Day Tokyo. It's still Samurai. That action hero on TV? Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That's what she said? Yes. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. He didn't notice the recorded conversation. This guy is stupid. Oh wait, one more thing I want to mention to you. Don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. She is huge. The witness. Yeah, Miss April May. Okay. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Oh, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already then? You're trying your laurely tricks on me now! She's not to go outside her outside room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. Guess I should know better than to try and get a detective with leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. This guy is stupid! According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run on an office like this. It's not to come back later. Table for clients. Elegant ebony case. If I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone's here's got money to burn. Pain has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either for that matter. Actually, while I'm here, let's listen to the recording. Hey Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. What is it this time? Clock, may think it tells the time. Not working, that's lame. Had to take the clock work out. Sorry, I'll put some papers inside. Okay. All right, we have that confirmed. Let's go. To the Gatewater Hotel. Gotta talk to Miss April May. 
Is that a wiretap? Well, hello there, handsome. Hello there, bad. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Memo to self. Thank, de thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go fresh enough so I can look part of the, look like part. So I can look the part of a beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. That's probably going to be us. Screwdriver stuck in the drawer, I wonder what's inside. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? Thought she was going to explode for a second there. Wonder what could be inside the drawer. Move, ugly! Late summer light, fake co offices building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it'll be a little difficult to recognize a face in this distance, though. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. So Mida must have been staying with her. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Let me see if I can check this one more time. Maybe later. I see there are two glass tables on the on the glass glasses on the table. Someone staying here with you? Oh, amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for cues in the garbage, huh? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Oh, boy. I'm about to shoot her, bro. Could you... Just who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, I'm not. I'm doing my job. Get to talking! You know, you're cute when you blush. Shut up and talk! Believe me. This is the first time I've blushed this much in my life. What I would say if I wasn't a lawyer. Now get to talking! Can you tell me what it is you do? Well, no. And you had your cute little hopes up, didn't you? You're a, you're a problem. You're an issue. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Observe, incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. I'm sick of you! We try to solve a murder case! You know, that thing that occurred, uh, happened the other day. The bad thing. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please? Let's see, um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. You're... Gosh, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, snap. Hey! What is it? Did you beat the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Better go see what I can find about this elite lawyer she's talking about. Bro, at this point, just represent her yourself. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. I don't know. So she could still be alive. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself. Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. Feel bad for her all by herself up on that mountain. So who is this man who ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leaves and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. 
The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course, but a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother became the laughing stock of the nation. White. Excuse me, White? That was his name, my sister told me. White. Ahem! If that wasn't the most over-the-top the, over the top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Ah! He's ugly! Aha! Uh -huh. So you're the one who's been looking for me in my Monopoly mustache. Uh, yes, that would be me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hold hmm, that badge on your collar. Oh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. What do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy. How come no one can get in touch with you? Hmm, something the matter. You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Well, sir, actually it's about Maya, Maya Faye. Ah, uh, yes, Maya Faye, go on. Why the strange reaction? Uh, cha cha. I'm I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go take a no, take a case on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. H how did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, 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 him. Uh. Anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, in a discussion. Going on. Even few before I had the chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Yeah, I'm gonna need you to talk, sir. Your refusal. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why, we, why you won't take the case. Um, uh, uh, you see, it's just, uh, I'm busy, you see? But the client is my, Mia Faye's sister. Uh, ahem, uh, Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course I know that. However, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer, lawyer worth their salt will take will take on this particular case. They're all scared of Edgeworth. That's what's going on here. They're all scared of Edgeworth. They don't want to get edged. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but... Could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my teachings in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. Mission. You can see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha! You noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. Oh, it's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it, not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale, I'm not buying! Jeez. Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help. I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? No, take the case. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... Someone else is the culprit, I know it. You aren't the culprit, someone else is. How do you know? I, uh, I have a hunch. Given the evidence, it would be easy to assume Maya was the killer. But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. That witness's strange behavior, was that all an act? And the way the lawyer refused to help out Maya. 
but more than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know. I've been there a long, long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. She smiled at last. Looks like she's an entirely different person. One last question, you are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what's next? Something has been bugging me. What was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There decided to be something in there. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment at your service. All right. Just come to the civil room service. Do you happen to know where Miss May might be? I believe Miss May is currently using the uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Ah, uh, I almost forgot. You came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her, Mr. White. Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. All oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name my sister told me. Why was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother? Could it be a coincidence? We've got freedom to look! Screwdriver sticking out that half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap, huh? What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a store behind us, I know it. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, no, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy's still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. Gotta skedaddle. To be continued. <laughs> 